Ever wondered if there's a magical potion for weight loss? Well buckle up because we're about to dive into the world of smoothies. Now don't be fooled. Smoothies are not just fruit-filled, blender-battered beverages. They are nutrient-packed powerhouses that can play a pivotal role in your weight loss journey. But here's the kicker. It's all about the smoothie equation. Think of it as your smoothie strategy. Two smoothies a day if you're aiming to lose weight, and one smoothie a day to maintain your weight. Simple, right? This smoothie system isn't just about cutting calories, it's about fueling your body with the right stuff, at the right time. And the best part? You're not skipping meals, you're swapping them for a tasty nutrient-dense alternative. This way you're less likely to reach for unhealthy snacks or overeat. So, are you ready to blend your way to a healthier you? But how much smoothie should you gulp down? Let's find out! Now you might be thinking, how can a simple beverage have such a profound impact? Well, let's break it down. Imagine your typical meal. It probably has a good mix of carbs, proteins and fats, right? But what if we told you that you could get all of these nutrients and more in a single glass? That's the magic of smoothies. By blending fruits, vegetables and other nutrient-rich ingredients, you're essentially creating a super meal that's easy to digest and even easier to enjoy. So how does this help with weight loss? Well, it's all about the calorie intake. When you consume fewer calories than your body burns, you start to lose weight. And smoothies, my friends, are an excellent way to reduce your overall calorie consumption without sacrificing nutrition. They're packed with fiber, which keeps you feeling full longer, and they're low in calories, especially when compared to a traditional meal. But it's not just about feeling full. The nutrients in smoothies also play a crucial role. They provide your body with the fuel it needs to function effectively. This includes maintaining your metabolism, which is key to burning calories and losing weight. And let's not forget about hydration. Smoothies are typically made with water, milk, or juice, all of which contribute to your daily fluid intake. This helps maintain your body's balance and supports overall health. And then we have the energy factor. We all know that feeling of lethargy that comes with dieting, but with smoothies, you get a steady release of energy that keeps you going throughout the day. This can help you stay active, which is another important factor in weight loss. So, it's not just about sipping on a smoothie, it's about what's in that smoothie. What's your go-to smoothie ingredient? Drop a comment below. Alright, so we know smoothies are great, but how do we incorporate them into our daily diet? That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Well, hold on to your blender, because we're about to dive into the smoothie swap. Now you might be thinking, I can't just live off smoothies, can I? Good question. The answer is, not quite. While smoothies are a fantastic way to pack in nutrients and cut down on calories, they aren't meant to replace all your meals. Our bodies need a variety of nutrients from different sources, which is why a balanced diet is key. So, even if you're churning out the most nutrition-packed, superfood-stuffed smoothies, you still need to make room for other foods in your diet. Now here's the twist. You can replace one or two meals with smoothies for weight loss. That's right. By swapping out a meal with a healthy smoothie, you're cutting down on calories without sacrificing nutrients. Plus, you're avoiding the temptation of unhealthy snacking or overeating that can sneak up on you when you skip meals. Imagine this. Instead of grabbing that bagel with cream cheese for breakfast, you whip up a delicious nutrient-dense smoothie. You're still fueling your body but with fewer calories and more nutrients. And instead of that fast food lunch, you opt for another smoothie filled with fruits, veggies and maybe a scoop of protein powder. Remember though, it's all about swapping, not skipping. You're not depriving your body, you're simply making smarter choices. And the best part? You're not stuck with the same boring meals day in and day out. The smoothie world is your oyster. You can experiment with different combinations and flavors to keep your taste buds interested. So what's the verdict? Are you ready to swap a meal or two with a smoothie? Or maybe you've already started your smoothie journey. Either way, we want to hear from you. Share your thoughts, your favorite smoothie recipes, or any questions you might have. So remember, swapping, not skipping, what meal would you replace with a smoothie? Let's hear it in the comments. Now, not all smoothies are created equal. Let's talk about what goes into a weight loss smoothie. Just like a painter uses a palette of colors to create a masterpiece, you too can use a spectrum of ingredients to design your perfect smoothie. But remember, we're aiming for weight loss, so we need to be smart about what we blend. First and foremost, we have fruits. They are nature's candy and they bring a natural sweetness to your smoothie, not to mention they're packed full of vitamins and fiber. However, don't go overboard with them. Excess sugar, even if it's natural, can still tip the balance on the scales. Next, let's add in some veggies. Now, I know what you're thinking. Veggies in a smoothie? You've gotta be kidding. But trust me, you won't even taste them. 
spinach, kale, cucumber, they all blend seamlessly into your smoothie, providing a nutrient boost without a lot of extra calories. Now let's talk protein. Adding a scoop of protein powder can turn your smoothie from a snack into a meal. It helps you feel fuller longer, and it's essential for muscle repair and growth. So, whether you're a gym junkie or a couch potato, protein is a must. And finally, liquids. Water is always a good choice, but you can also use unsweetened almond milk, coconut water, or even green tea. They each add their own unique twist to the flavor and nutritional profile of your smoothie. But remember, the magic of smoothies lies in their flexibility. You can mix and match these ingredients to suit your taste buds and your weight loss goals. Want to add some Greek yogurt for creaminess? Go for it. Fancy a sprinkle of chia seeds for extra fiber? Why not? So the world of smoothies is as diverse as a rainbow. What's your favorite smoothie combo? Share it with us in the comments. Now, we've got our smoothies, but when's the best time to have them? Well folks, let's delve into the smoothie schedule. It's like a train schedule but way tastier and won't leave you stranded if you miss it. If you're looking to lose weight, the best time to have your smoothie is usually in the morning as a breakfast replacement. It's a great way to kickstart your metabolism and get that energy flowing for the day. You might be thinking, why breakfast? Can't I just have a smoothie for lunch? You could, but here's the thing. Having a smoothie for breakfast sets the tone for the rest of your day. It's like waking up on the right side of the bed, but it's the right side of the blender instead. Plus, it keeps you from grabbing that tempting donut or bagel on your way to work. Now let's say you're a fitness enthusiast, or maybe you're just starting to dip your toes into the workout world. Having a smoothie before or after your workout can be beneficial. Before a workout it can provide you with the energy you need to push through. After a workout it can help with muscle recovery and replenish your energy stores. So it's like a little reward for all your hard work. Who doesn't love that? But remember it's not just about when you have your smoothie but also about what's in it. You want to make sure you're getting the right nutrients at the right times. So if you're having a smoothie in the morning, you might want to include some protein and fiber to keep you satiated throughout the day. If you're having it around your workout, then some carbs could also be a good idea to fuel your exercise and recovery, so timing is key. When do you prefer to have your smoothie? Let us know in the comments. Well, we've blended, sipped, and swapped our way through this smoothie journey. It's been a whirlwind of fruity fun, hasn't it? Let's take a quick gulp, I mean gander back at the key points. Remember the smoothie equation? two smoothies a day to shed those pounds, one smoothie to keep them at bay. It's as simple as that. But let's not forget the stars of our show, the ingredients. We've learned that our smoothies need to be nutrient-rich, keeping us fueled and full throughout the day. And the timing? Crucial. Replacing meals, not adding them. So, my friends, you're now equipped with all the knowledge you need to embark on your own smoothie adventure. Remember, it's not about being perfect, it's about being persistent. So, are you ready to give the smoothie equation a try? Drop a yes in the comments if you're in. And now, we've reached the end of our smoothie saga. But wait, before we say our goodbyes, let's raise our glasses. Or rather, our smoothie jars for a smoothie salute. Here's to our health, to our persistence, to the deliciousness of fruits and veggies, and most importantly, to the fun of blending. As the blend master, I'm thrilled to have shared this journey with you, and I can't wait to hear about your own smoothie adventures. Remember the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single sip. So let's toast to new beginnings, to health and happiness, and to the magic of smoothies. Cheers my friends! And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more smoothie tips and tricks. Keep blending, keep sipping, and most importantly, keep enjoying the journey. Until next time.